The video you are about to see is a provided product uh, sent to me, so uh, I, it was sent to me for free so that I could do a review of the product. Hey, this is Drew Bennett from BenSpark.com, and I am utterly embarrassed at how long it has taken me to talk about Circuit Maze from ThinkFun. ThinkFun has been incredible to our family uh, over the years. They have provided us with so many great toys, so many great puzzles and games, um, and I always get their uh, items to, to review, and I got this one. This is actually like an early, almost prototype one, and it's awesome. I don't know what is wrong with me and why I have not been able to give you a good review on this or any review whatsoever on it. So, we're going to talk about it today. Circuit Maze. All right, it is an electronic current logic game. Think Fun does incredible logic games. So, here, I'll put that over here and try not to let it drop. Okay, so here it is. Uh, inside, there's always a little booklet and with the instructions, and there's a lot of different pieces and things that go with this. So here is the Here's the maze, so it's this is the board, and inside you also have a, um, 60 challenge cards from beginner to expert. There's always a ton of different um, puzzles to do. So, uh, what's really nice is like we'll start with you know you can start with the beginner one, and the beginner is this the, that's the solution. Um, so the beginner challenge tells me that first I have to put. I get the. This is the actual part that has electricity on it. It's, uh, three, uh, double, three AAA batteries. I'm putting that down because that's just going to keep falling. So what I need to do is this piece here is the part that you know we're going to connect um, things to. So uh, it has the. There's the positive. Wait a minute. Oh no, this is the part. So this, this one has the positive and it says on the grid, I'm gonna put this one like, like on the grid like this. So, right, see that, there's that. And I'm also going to put this yellow piece, keep flipping it over to the solution, um, put this yellow piece so these pieces here like that. Why don't I aim it down so you can see what I'm doing? There we go. All right, so I'm putting the pieces here, and it says I need I need a piece like this. Okay. So here's the piece, and I need to put it here. And what I have to add to the grid, okay, is this piece, which kind of com completes the circuit and this like elbow corner piece. Um, so grab one of those little elbow corner pieces. Two of them. Okay, so what we'll probably do, put one here so these two connect to each other. These two connect to each other. Okay, and I need to put this, there we go. So see how it lights up? That's an easy one, okay? So you put this in, it lights up. That is an easy circuit maze. Uh, so here's the thing, here's the solution. I believe I look the same. There we go. So if it lights up, it's working. What I, I do also like in the instructions here, let's get back up so you can see my face. Uh, in the instructions here, it actually talks about um, Avoiding things like short circuiting, series circuits, parallel circuits, short circuit bypass, and parallel circuit, and in all a lot of these it says avoid this. So it's really talking about different things that um, you know electrical terms that um, you know we're really not gonna uh, get until you know when, when you'll you'll get a little bit as you play, but um, you know a kid can play this without really knowing these terms, but it's great to have that in here. Talking about current flow, um, 
you know, circuits and closed circuits, series and parallel circuits. So all these different things uh, in here. Again, great for STEM, you know, great for, you know, logic and pro problem solving. You got 60 different ones. I usually go one at a time, go through all of them, as many as I can. Uh, that way, um, you know, I, I try to, you know, get all the challenges and work all the challenges out. And eventually I do. That's that's definitely one uh, that I do. So in addition to some of those pieces, there's all these other pieces here. There's additional beacons. Okay. So there's, there's like a splitter and, you know, even more pieces that you use uh, with that. So um, this is one that you keep the box with because all the pieces fit back in the box. We don't put this into like a little uh, bag. A lot of the Think Fun stuff goes into a, a bag, but this one is not. Uh, that way, all the pieces fit back into the box. Uh, overall, we've—I mean, the kids and I have played this many times. I've just not recorded it, um, and I don't know why. And I apologize profusely to the folks from Think Fun. They have always been so wonderful to us. Uh, I love their toys. They've been really, really good, and I just totally dropped the ball with this one. Um, it's an awesome game. You should definitely try it, pick it up because it, you know, if you like logic games, it, this is just cool, you know, because it lights up and it does these neat things. It's kind of like they have another one called Laser Maze, and uh, Laser Maze, you know, that, that'll light things up too um, by shooting a laser, you know, using uh, different mirrors and, and, and moving them around. Uh, just for, for the logic and, and the, the puzzling, it's really cool. And then the learning the electrical stuff, that's also really cool too. So, you know, spark your kid's imagination, look at their creativity and, and their problem solving and their logic. And, you know, it's a great game for that and teaches some, some really cool concepts. So, it's Drew Bennett from BenSpark.com. Thank you for watching. You can find me on Instagram as BenSpark, Twitter as BenSpark, at Facebook.com slash I'm not a famous blogger. And you can always find me here because I do videos every day for 2016. Thank you very much for watching.